You all seem to really like the first little interactive quiz type video I did with Josh Giddy the other day. Um, thank you for that. And at many of your requests, I'm going to do more of them because uh, they've been super, super fun to make and, and kind of research for. Trey Young is the subject of this video as he's one of the best passing prospects that I've ever seen. Uh, so let's get into it. Um, again, if you're new, we're going to roll 10 clips. Each, we're going to pause at a decision point, at an action point, in which I will give you a few options where you are to guess to get inside the mind of Trey Young and predict where he is going to go with the pass or the shot. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Um, and at the end, um, keep score, tally up how many you get out of 10, and I'd love if you put it in the comments um, or left it or left a reply on Twitter wherever you found this, um, whatever you scored. So with that, let's get into it. As this first play, we're going to see Trey get downhill, blow, pie, blow by his man, force rotations, and we're finding our action point right here where Trey hops into this little stance, which he does pretty often, uh, this little hop. So is Trey going to shoot a little floater? Is he going to kick to the corner, or is he going to kick to the wing? I'll give you five seconds. Let's roll the clip. As Trey finds the wing here, um, Trey is a master of manipulation, which coincides with him being a master of movement. Um, as Trey knows that while at the freeze frame this looks kind of like there's no clear option, uh, Javon Carter's momentum is taking him towards the corner, which means it'll be more difficult for him to recover to a pass to the wing. Um, and Trey, all he has to do is hold him with his eyes and his body language for just a second to free up this wide open shot. Let's get into the second clip here, uh, where Trey is going to get himself into kind of a bad position, um, but he is going to make a play. Spoiler alert. Uh, so is Trey going to make a wild little floater here? Is he going to find an interior pass? Or is he going to kick to one of his shooters? I will give you five seconds. Let's roll the clip. As Trey's standout creativity like is, is so ridiculously unbelievable, um, where even if Trey's in like some really crappy situations, uh, because of how creative not only his deliveries are, but his vision here, to notice that this defender's momentum, again, is moving counter to the stationary defender, um, he's going to slip into some space here, and then Trey uses the wonderful wrap delivery around this defender's body and head to just the spot where his teammate could catch. This this is just an unbelievable pass and a great encapsulation of what makes Trey as a passer so damn special. Clip number three. Uh, we have Trey one-on-one. -on -one. He drives past this defender, and we're going to pause. Is Trey going to shoot a little layup here? Is he going to kick to this corner man? Or is he going to find one of his cutters? I'll give you five seconds. Let's roll the clip. As you might think that the best play here is to find uh, the corner here or the cutter because all of these defenders seem to be converging on Trey's shot. But Trey is in front of these defenders and he wisely uses his back, his body to shield a little bit. And because presumably Trey is reading that this help defender while moving towards Trey isn't really contesting because he's kind of worried about uh, options behind him isn't a huge threat. So he's able to use his incredible craft and go up and under for the finish. Let's go to this next clip um, where we have Trey running a simple high pick and roll. Um, and we're going to pause right here. Is Trey going to shoot a little pull-up jumper? Is he going to find his rolling big man? Or is he going to kick to one of his shooters? Five seconds again. Let's roll the clip. As I'm kind of cheating here, because the, the real action point is a dribble ahead. But at this point, it looks kind of dubious. Like, there isn't anyone clearly open. Um, like, it's pretty congested as well. Um, but Trey doesn't really settle for that. Um, he creates a better option for his teammates. As he's kind of waiting for this defender, because there's kind of clogging here. But there won't be in a beat. So Trey takes that dribble, waits for his uh, roll man to get lower. And he's forcing this defender to, to make a decision. He's reading what decision he makes. And the decision he makes is basically no decision. Uh, he decides to kind of hedge all of his options. 
Uh, but because of that, he's not sinking in front of this roller, which is the most pressing threat. And Trey knows that and is able to exploit uh, and find him. So just a beautiful little waiting game that Trey plays, putting this defender in a lose-lose-lose situation um, where Trey picks apart uh, these backline defenses just routinely. Halfway there, let's, let's, let's do clip five. How are you doing so far? Um, hopefully you can get some more of these. Uh, Trey is going to go downhill, downhill here against Colin Sexton, um, and he's going to get pretty deep paint. So let's break it down. Is he going to shoot the floater? Is he going to kick to one of the corner shooters, or is he going to find this interior pass? Five seconds. Let's roll the clip. As Trey is just a wild interior passer, creating layup passes is one of the most important passing skills and Trey is so so great at that as even though this floater is a good shot Trey knows that a wide open layup is a better shot um, and because this defender seems to be committing uh, Trey audibles at the last second it looks like to to lay this pass down because he's loading up for a floater this footwork is that of a is that of his floaters exactly um, but he's able to transition that into a pass at the slightest notice of this defender letting up and you know goes from a great shot to a really incredible shot which which is the ethos of elite offenses and it is what makes Trey an offensive driver all right uh, enough about that let's get into the next play uh, where Trey is again going to be one-on-one -on -one driving here so in the paint right here is Trey going to shoot a little floater pull up is he going to find uh, his cutting big man or is he going to pass out to the corner or one of these shooters Let's take five seconds. Let's roll the clip. So this is an interesting one, I think, um, because at like the point where this action happens, it kind of looks like, based on like what we've seen before, that Trey would make this interior pass, uh, which is probably like the, the highest ED pass. Um, it looks open here, but once again, Trey has to recognize his own teammates' momentum and movement too, along with the defenders. So he knows this... Uh, this teammate is moving this way, which is out of the paint. Um, whereas, like, if Trey makes this pass, his momentum is going to be carrying him to, like, the block where help's going to be. So that's not the greatest option. Um, and then, uh, while well, the, the corner three certainly could be a pass, like, I don't think that would be the wrong read. Trey um, is an amazing floater shooter, and with this defender kind of backing up a little bit, uh, he can hop forward into this little push shot, which is just money all day for him. All right, let's get into clip number seven, I think. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're moving through this, where Trey's kind of back up, and is he going to shoot the three here? Uh, is he going to pass to uh, this corner, or is he going to pass to the wing? I'll give you five seconds. Let's roll it. And sometimes the, the simple play is really the best play. Um, and Trey's passing decisions are always predicated on the best play, which is you know part of what's so special about him. As just just watch the gravity that Trey commanded as a shooter, and passing and shooting are, are so correlated. As as you know, Josh Giddy is last video, the, Josh Giddy in the last video doesn't have this blessing, where three defenders converge hard um, on Trey's pull up shooting threat, and like this pass is so easy, he could make this pass, but there's potential help ready. These guys are all keyed in on Trey, so he can make a, a quick one pass, one pass away, um, and find that shooter. Let's go to the next one, where Trey is again going to spot up from way beyond the arc. Uh, is Trey going to shoot this deep three? Is he going to find uh, this roller here, or is he going to skip to one of his shooters? I'll give you five seconds. Let's roll it. As we again see Trey finding these incredible shots. Well, Trey was certainly like, uh, you know, prone to lots of kind of wild pull ups that he was really good at and was probably maligned for. When there were better options available, it was rare that Trey squandered those. It was rare that Trey missed reads in favor of these, you know, tough pull ups. It was more than just that was the offense that he created for himself. Um, and while, like, he is kind of loaded up to shoot here. He sees all the defenders once again committing. Three defenders jet up towards Trey just because he kind of glances at the rim, which is a testament to his gravity again. So now he has a three on two in the paint, which Trey is going to eat all day. 
Um, and like the velocity throws, uh, the look off to freeze this weak side defender. Um, it is just masterful stuff into a tight window, uh, speed, vision, creativity, manipulation, all of it, all of it. This passes all of it. All right. I think we only have two more to go. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Let's, let's finish strong, uh, as we're going to get into this play. Trey Young is running another pick and roll. Um, as we have a couple options here, is Trey going to pull into a pull out three here? Is he going to pass to the roll man or is he going to skip it to one of his shooters on the weak side? You have five seconds. Let's roll the clip. As this time we see Trey bust out the, the weak side skip, which he was so great at as well. This is just like another kind of like cat and mouse situation. Like he's reading this defender because this defender is probably like a little inching a little too close to be a real like X out threat. Um, so Trey is only reading this defender and he has two feet in the paint and knows that he's not going to be able to recover in time because he was moving over to, to help on the roll, um, which, you know, could have been, which like definitely this, this could have been the read, but he wouldn't have been like open per se. But with this corner skip, Trey is finding a wide open shooter uh, by waiting an extra second as he has been um, and reading this defender. Let's get to the last clip where Trey is going to kind of uh, pick up his dribble in like above three point line in a pretty tough situation. So is Trey going to continue into a three pointer? Is he going to find this interior player or is he going to skip it to the weak side? Uh, well, for the last time, you have five seconds. Let's roll the clip. Now the read here is kind of obvious, maybe more obvious than any of the clips before. There really is only one like really clear opening, but the issue is how do you get it there? Um, because Trey's right hand is blocked off. This defender is kind of walling off his his line of sight to uh, this open shooter. Like there's help there. This this defense is really well positioned to take away this gaping hole. But because Trey is an ambidextrous passer, because he can pass. At all angles because he passes with such velocity he's able to skip this pass in like the one and only window that would have been available even though like a lot of point guards might have been able to like be aware of this read but not necessarily have the tools to make it trey is making every single read he's aware of um which is what makes him so damn special so that's it for this one um once again i would love it if you left your score uh in the comments uh tell me how you did so yeah that's about it um, I hope you enjoyed this.